हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड सुपर फास्ट राइटर्स दोस्तों आप चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को दबाएं डेली शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन के लिए और इस मैटर की ट्रांसक्रिप्शन डाउनलोड करने के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन की लिंक पर क्लिक करें शुरू करते हैं आज का डिक्टेशन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर फोर वॉल्यूम नंबर ट्वेंटी टू से बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट वाइल स्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ प्राइसेस इज द कंसर्न ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट an equally vital and important concern of the government is the keeping up of the continuity of the economic development the house would probably agree with me that these two things would have to be balanced and the problem therefore is not to consider prices isolated from economic development but the problem is to these two phenomena married to each other and keep the balance between these two married partners straight in both development and in stability that should be our problem and that should be the solution i welcome very greatly the suggestions which have come forward to facilitate this marriage of prices with economic development controls are no doubt possible to some extent but as i said earlier even the ranganathan committee felt that no amount of physical control will deliver the goods if the implementing machinery is not up to the same standard as the standard of the control we want to have therefore as a better solution to this problem rather than having wholesale physical control we want that the extension of the cooperative trading centers should provide an answer to this problem and we would like to give the maximum facilities for this extension of cooperative trading sector definite schemes have been formulated by the government but i would also like to say here that some of these voluntary organizations like the citizens council and such other organizations if they could take up the work of providing a chain of consumer cooperative stores they could formulate a scheme for doing some such thing in the economic sphere government would be certainly agreeable to provide them with all possible facilities for opening these shops large scale impact of the cooperative movement in the retail sector provides the best possible sanction in the present circumstances to keep a check on prices and government efforts is to be supplemented not only by this expansion in trading in the cooperative sector but the government effort in keeping the price line has also to be supplemented to a great extent and reinforced by an effective public opinion after all democracy without public opinion does not carry us anywhere public education and democracy are two patterns in which full fledged democracy functions 
without public education democratic implications are not understood and vice versa without a democratic pattern of society this public education does not have much meaning therefore public concerns over rise in prices has got to be created though all the members have expressed their concern over rise in prices and people outside also have expressed their concern i must confess that the cohesive body of public opinion against profiteering and speculative activity of traders in essential commodities has yet to be felt if it has to have practical effect and without dividing themselves on party lines members of parliament should also play very very effective role through their own parties the problem of profiteering and the problem of speculative activity is not the problem of government it is the problem of the country it is the problem of the people and it should be considered as an anti social thing therefore it should not be considered that it is the prime duty of the government to check this mitigate this evil phenomenon it is the duty of the government i do not deny but it is also on the moral plane the duty of the respective parties and their leaders and workers to create such a public opinion where profiteering and speculative activities may not find place in some of the capitalist countries they have done the same thing in regard to this after all in a country like the united states of america adulteration of food is considered to be a crime worse than even murder that shows the amount of public opinion that has to be created in this country against profiteering and speculation as some members have said nationalization of banks can be one of the ways by which effective control over prices can be brought about but unfortunately the phenomenon is not the credit which is operating through banks the crux of the evil is the credit which is outside the bank so much credit is flowing through these outside channels other than the banking system that is it is very difficult to control that kind of credit this is the villain of the piece which is not allowing us to have a cohesive policy in regard to the control of prices a part of the purchasing power of the public which has come under the operation of the banking sector is relatively small when compared to the money outside the banks it is the latter therefore which gives us this deep concern and which affects the solution so i think i have covered almost of the points raised though the purview of the discussion is very wide the house will perhaps forgive me if i do not cover all the economic matters so thanks for watching do like subscribe and share